Why has the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister, Mr. Manish Sodia, been arrested by the CBI? That must be a question on your minds after Mr. Manish Sodia was arrested at around 7.15 p.m. last evening. Let's just break down why the Central Bureau of Investigation has arrested Mr. Manish Sodia. Well, this is in relation to an alleged liquor policy scam that the CBI is investigating. What is the liquor policy? It is a policy that the Aadmi Party came up with in the year 2021 and uh, it essentially gave uh, it, uh, the control of liquor vents from government liquor vents to private liquor vents. So earlier there used to be government liquor vents in the national capital but this excise policy took that charge from government uh, vents to private players and it gave away licenses for alcohol vents uh, to private players. So that is essentially what that liquor policy did. Now, what is the allegation uh, in the liquor policy against Mr. Manish Sisodia? The CBI says that um, Mr. Manish Sisodia, who holds the excise portfolio in the national capital in the Delhi government, he actually tailored the liquor policy, tailored the Delhi liquor policy to favour some private players, to get kickbacks from some private players. So that's the main allegation of the CBI for which uh, they have been questioning the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister and now that they've arrested uh, Mr. Manish Sisodia as well. Now, they say... Uh, that there is, uh, there are some certain provisions of the Delhi liquor policy that were added to the policy and that weren't there in the first draft. Uh, so they say that these provisions have been tailored to favour some liquor retailers, favour some uh, private players. Now they say that uh, um, uh, earlier in the first draft these provisions weren't present, but they say that an excise department official, uh, the main uh, one of the crucial evidence that the CBI has in this case is that an excise department official of the Delhi government has given a statement regarding this under CRPC 164 which is a statement under the magistrate and uh, which is ad acceptable admissible evidence so uh, because of that statement from a Delhi excise government uh, excise department official that um, signals to the fact that uh, Mr. Sisodia tailored that policy uh, to favor some private players to favor some liquor retailers so that is um, the allegations that the CBI has they also say um, in the allegations in the charge sheet that there were kickbacks to the tune of 30 crores that the Delhi government received from a so-called South Group. Now, this South Group, they say, involved uh, people uh, such as uh, the Telangana Chief Minister's daughter, um, K. Kavita, and they say that the Delhi government received money uh, of around uh, 30 crore rupees from the South Group uh, to give away the uh, liquor vend licenses to certain uh, favoured people. So that is the main allegation. Now, this uh, policy, it's also important to remember, this uh, entire controversial liquor policy was withdrawn after these allegations came up and after this uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor asked for a probe. And this was withdrawn last year in, in the month of July. And uh, the BJP uh, has also made the allegation that uh, the commission in this uh, liquor policy, the earlier commission was 6% for retailers, but that had been increased to 12%. So th that's why the BJP also says that uh, the uh, commission rate was doubled only to favour these retailers so that these retailers get more money. And they say that the, the Ahmadmi party made money by giving away those licences to certain private players. As I said, that the liquor policy essentially took uh, government uh, liquor vents to private liquor vents. So that's why it's, it was up to the government to give those licences for private liquor vans give those license to whichever private players that they wanted so the arm um, uh, the bjp and the cbi also alleged that they gave away those uh, licenses for private liquor vans uh, they to, tailored to certain players to benefit certain players and then they received money in exchange of that that's essentially the allegation uh, that mr manish sisodia faces and of course uh, he is going to be produced at the rouse avenue court at around 3 pm where the cbi is going to ask for his uh, custody and it's expected that they might ask for a 14 day uh, custody of mr manish sisodia so that's the entire allegation against the delhi De deputy chief minister for which he has been arrested by the CBI.